We continue this evening with a consideration of the iPad. It was released by Apple last week after months of anticipation. We call it the iPad. The iPad measures 0.5 inches, weighs 1.5 pounds, and has a 9.7 inch multi touch screen. It goes on sale at the end of March, starting at $499. The most expensive model will cost $829. Access to AT&T's 3G network will cost extra. At last week's unveiling, Apple CEO Steve Jobs described the iPad. It's so much more intimate than a laptop, and it's so much more capable than a smartphone with this gorgeous large display. The iPad will offer a new platform to consume music, photos, movies, games, books, and more. It will also run Apple's 140,000 iPhone apps. Joining me now to talk about the iPad and its impact, Walt Mossberg of the Wall Street Journal from Washington, Michael Arrington of TechCrunch from Mountain View, California, and here with me at the table, David Carr of the New York Times. I begin with Walt Mossberg. Tell, although you have written about this in the Wall Street Journal, tell me about what, what's your assessment of this? First of all, I think people who are focused on the hardware, say, they say, you know, it just looks like a big iPhone, are missing the key thing here. The key thing here is going to be the software and the services that it will deliver, like you mentioned, this uh, bookstore and book reader, uh, and there are negotiations being, or that, that are being reported about uh, uh, Apple's hoping to do a video service and a music service uh, that might stream and do some other things. So that will be the key. The other thing I would say is, uh, from the short time I've used it, it feels great in the hand. It's wicked fast. I mean, it's really fast. And it um, has software flourishes that are more uh, like a Mac or a PC than they are like an iPhone. The photo app on there looks more like the one you would get on your Windows or Mac a computer than it, than it does what you would get on an Android phone or a Blackberry and iPhone and they have a full-blown productivity suite on there word processor spreadsheet you know slide uh, presentation program so uh, it's a different animal than an iPhone having said that let me just quickly add and I think everybody here would agree uh, there's a big hurdle here that Steve Jobs has not faced even with his other successes which is this is the first time he's going to have to make a market for a size and type of product that has simply not existed or not succeeded before it's existed, but no one has succeeded with it. Even though the iPhone was a game changer, Charlie, and you and I talked about it when it came out, and it has proven to be a very successful game changer, there were smartphones. He didn't have to say to the world, hey, you might want to carry a smartphone, because people were already doing it. He just did a different one and a better one for a lot of people's uh, uses. This is different. He has to say to people, you already have a smartphone, you already have a laptop, now I want you to carry this thing. And he was very honest about that. That was what he said right up front. You know, we could debate, the, as, as Walt said, we can debate the features one way or another, but until we've really, we have them in our hands for extended periods of time, it's, it's hard to review them. But I, I think that this is definitely a new category of device, and it will be successful or not as a category. Personally, I think people are going to love this. I think sitting on the couch and listening to music or maybe looking up something on Wikipedia while they're watching TV on an airplane where laptops are always awkward to sort of right. get on your lap, I think it's going to be something that people just absolutely love. We've seen it with the Kindle. People love Kindles. Uh, people love their smartphones. Uh, you know, we'll see how this does. One of the things you have to understand about this gadget is the gadget disappears pretty quickly. You're looking into pure software. If you're, imagine you're on an airplane or on a train or in a car with somebody, and they seem to have the whole web in their hands. They seem to have a whole movie in their hands that they can move around. It's not like the iPhone where they're constantly trying to make you look at it and stuff. It's going to be sitting next to you, and you're going to go, wow. That is, that's an amazing looking thing. The gadget part of it, is it, you know there's really only one button on the front of it it's all about the software you're looking at a clear window mm -hmm. into the software that animates the device and then the software that media companies make for it and gaming companies make for it there is no killer application here 